So guys, in this video, I'm going to tell you that what is Google Ads Editor and how it can help you to manage your Google Ads very efficiently. So you might have listened about Google Ads Editor, but people are confused that how does it work and what are the best use of Google Ads Editor. And that's what we are going to cover in this particular video. So let's get into the video without any further ado. So guys, as you can see right now, I'm in my Google Chrome and I'm going to just search for Google Ads Editor because Google Ads Editor is a application which gets installed into your computer or uh, laptop and helps you to edit your campaigns, create your campaigns, uh, which means uh, manage your all Google Ads into your PC and that to offline. And when you get online, you can upload that data on Google Ads platform so that Google Ads can Work, work according to the edit you have done into your offline mode, right? So basically the use of it, let's say you are an agency and you don't want to give the control of your Google Ads account, direct Google Ads account to anyone. So what you can do is you can give them access of Google Ads editor, right? And they can edit their uh, campaign or they can uh, do everything they what, what they want to do in the campaign or in the account. And once they are done, they came online and upload the data into the current Google ad account, right? So that's how this Google ads editor works. So let's say Derek, you want to download Google ad, uh, Google ads editor. For that, you just have to search here Google ads editor and you'll find the official website of, of Google ads editor where you can download the application, right? So I'm using Windows, so I have to use exe file for that, right? So here it is showing that I can see the download button over here. If I click on this, it will start automatically downloading, right? As you can see here, the application is already downloaded and it depends on the operating system of your PC. Right now I'm using uh, Windows. That's why it download uh, it has been downloaded in EXE format. Otherwise, if you uh, use Mac OS, then it will download for the Mac OS version, right? So now I just have to install this application. Now, as you can see, installation complete. Let me close this and search here, Google Ads Editor. And this is the application I'm able to see. Hit the open button. Now I have to do the setup process. Select the language, read the, then select language and location again. Now we have to connect the account in which account uh, we want to make changes or which account we want to manage, right? Now, if you want, you can uh, click on walk me through uh, the basics. Otherwise, I want, I'm going to skip the tutorial. And here you have to click on this add icon, right? So that you can add the account, which account you want to add, right? Now you have two options, open browser in sign, uh, to sign in or use in-app browser to sign in. So I'm going to open browser to sign in. Now this is the account which I want to choose right now. Now, as you can see, uh, it is showing that my account has been connected and here you can see the ad accounts which I have in my account right now, right? So once I connect the account, I, I'll be able to see the ad accounts which I've created. So um, I want to download the data of this account only. I don't want to download because I don't use this account. Otherwise, if you want, you can uh, select as many as account you want, right? Now hit the OK button. Now it is asking that which campaigns you want to uh, download basically uh, which uh, the data of which campaigns you want to download so uh, you have two options if you want you can uh, select all campaigns otherwise you can select a few campaigns which you want you can select according to your preference let me just close this these are the campaigns which i have created in my account right so i'm gonna click on all campaign and hit the ok button now it is showing that downloading so everything has been downloaded Otherwise, if you want, you can select the multiple things only few things. Let's say you just want to download the data of ad groups, right? So you can do that as well, right? So uh, that thing will be shown in the campaign uh, selection process where we were uh, selecting the campaigns, right? Let me just maximize this. Now, this is the cam basically the account which I have downloaded here. Now you can see the multiple just there's a change of interface. Nothing else. Everything is same like Google ads right online version of google ads just the difference is interface here right and if you master this interface there will be no issue at all right and the best part is you can edit 
your campaigns on an offline mode you can manage your campaigns on the go and when you get online you just have to hit this post button and your data will be posted in the uh, original account current account right now here you can see all the accounts basically all the campaigns right uh, right now i'm in my ca uh, account level and if i select any of this campaign then i'll be into the campaign level let's say i select this campaign right now i'm into the campaign level and here i can see all the data related to the campaign right basically campaign ad group how many ad groups i have here right if i want i can add ad groups as well let's say i want to add one more ad group here i clicked now here is the data which i have to fill in right now let's say the name of this ad group will be seo seo service let's say right now uh, you have to select the ad group type you have these options standard dynamic engagement start smart so i'm gonna select standard you can select the status as well there are enable pause and remove option right then you have to select these uh, cpc max cpc target cpa so you can fill in all these details in order to make your ad group properly perfect let's say i want to select max cpc i want to give max cpc uh 160 rupees which is around two dollars right then default uh, this is default max cpc and the, uh, as you can see the currency is in inr but if you are in another country let's say you are in from uh, you are from usa or canada so you will be able to see the respective uh currency of your country right now max cpm uh how much money i want to spend for c uh cost per milestone right so let's say i want to spend only one dollar for one milestone right so that will be 80 rupees max cpa cost per acquisition cost per acquisition would be around 100 rupee and max cpv is also 100 so this is the data i have added right now if you want obviously you have created ad group you have to add uh, keywords and extra things as well into this ad groups in order to make your ad group perfectly up and running right for that you have to go to keywords and targetings right these are the keywords which are already added now add one more keyword here and now it is asking that in which ad group you want to add the keyword so i'm gonna add keyword in this ad group which i have created right now just right hit the ok button now add the keywords let's say best seo service in delhi this is the keyword i want to add into this ad group now you uh, if you want you can add the final url you can change the status you can change the match type as well i want to keep it in phrase match right you want you uh, if you want you can add mobile friendly url as well then here you have to add max cpc max cpm max cpv let's say max cpc would be the same 180 180 actually is high let's add 80 rupee only right then max cpa cpm cost per milestone i want to give 180 but uh, the data will be deferred because i have added different data in ad group level right but this is just to show you i'm just uh, adding random numbers i haven't done any research regarding this right now i have added as you can see here now it is showing me a error because let's say i increase the number into 150 again it is showing me error never mind uh, it is showing me because uh, uh, keyword cpv basically the cpv cost per view is for video campaigns right that's why it is showing me and you'll be able to see the error message yes here you'll be able to see the error message as well it is showing that keyword maximum cpv bids are allowed in video campaigns that's why so i have to leave this now as you can see i am not uh, i'm not getting any error here right so that's how if you get any error you'll be able uh, to see the reason of the error as well so this is how this uh, google ads editor works right so let's say i have created one ad group i have added one keyword and i want to make changes in this particular keyword as well which is already added into one of my ad group right now i want to pause this uh, keyword right so i have paused this keyword and these are the changes i have made now i want to upload this data into my live campaign into my live account so for that i just have to click on this post button right once i click here i'll be able to see the data which this google ads editor platform will gonna send to my campaign right these are the data ad groups one won't post because there's an error in that ad group that's why i think let me fix that error so that i can 
upload the data properly it is showing that ad group maximum cpv bits are allowed only in video campaign so it is oh, okay in this here i have also added the cpv cost per view that's why it is showing now the error has been gone now let me post the data now it is showing that one ad group data uh, the ad group i have created the keyword changes i have made right so there are two keyword changes one where uh, i have added one keyword and where i have uh, add changed the status of one keyword right so these are the keyword level changes ad group level changes if you create one campaign you will be able to see the campaign level changes or any other uh, if you let's say you change any asset or ads you'll be able to see that as well right now if i hit the post button my data is getting uploaded right so as you can see my data has been uploaded in this ad account this is oh, sorry in this campaign basically the ad account is mf ad account one and the campaign name is marketing fundas right this is the campaign name now let me close this and let's go to our google ad account so that uh, we can check that whether uh, the data has been uploaded or not so for that i have to go to my google ad account ads.google.com So guys, right now I am in campaign level as you can see here. Now let's go to campaigns, click on campaigns and let me select that campaign which uh, I have changed, in which I have changed. This was the campaign. Let me click on this and here as you can see, there is one ad group has been added which is SEO service, right? And if I click on this, I'll be able to see the keyword as well, which I have added here. Here is the keyword. Uh, which is best SEO service in Delhi, which I've added, right? So that's how you can uh, use the Google Ads Editor tool to uh, make changes into your Google Ads account, right? So I hope you understood the process. I hope how you can download this application, how you can install this and how you can use this. And at the end, how you can upload the data into your real, oh, basic, not real, uh, into the live account, right? And if you still have any question or any confusion regarding this, please comment down below. I'll answer those questions in the comment section yourself. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button. I'll meet you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.